हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैलेंज ए एस एस साइंस फाउंडेशन डेली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट और एजेंसी व्हिच वाज लॉन्च्ड व्हिच वाज एडॉप्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन 1986 दिस एक्ट वाज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ भोपाल गैस ट्रेजेडी व्हिच वाज हैपेंड इन दिसंबर 1984 this is a comprehensive act because it included all the problems or solution related to air water soil pollution hazardous waste management of these waste transboundary hazardous waste management protection of the biodiversity environment forest this act included all the act all the importance of the surrounding environment thus this act is known as a umbrella act of the environment earlier the act was made like air air protection act air uh, air pollution and prevention act and water prevention act forest conservation act these uh these act talk about this specific problem related specific problem like water act talk about the water pollution problem related to that water pollution and the uh, solution related to that but in this act the government included all the major problem related to the environment its main objective this the main objective of this act is to main objective is this act is to protect the environment and provide environment pollution free disease free environment to the people living in this world okay this world that's why this act included uh, your air act water act hazardous waste which was not earlier included so this is known as umbrella act law existing prior to this act is generally focused only on a specific type of pollution some major areas of hazards like disposal of toxic waste were not covered under earlier acts and this problem related to hazards and their management now come under your environmental protection act this act also set out or decide parameters under which your ministry of environment forest climate change operates and formulate or execute environment policies related to the environmental problem and solutions they set standards they are the higher authority which took all the decisions at the national level and the people has to comply with this act with the rules so generally in paper they ask about the in which year epa is adopted or which is uh, known as the umbrella act and in which act your air act and this is included so answer will be epa mostly you can say the uh, you will uh, uh, give the answer epa if it if the question does not ask about the particular type of pollution like for example if the question asks there is air pollution then you mark the answer air act otherwise it is epa act because it is the umbrella act in it included all the other acts which you study already so this is a quite important mostly uh, please remember its year it is very important so now moving further let's talk about eco marks it was launched in 1991 what is eco marks eco marks means the product which is eco friendly to nature that product we give a mark to increase the cover, uh, consumer awareness 
government of india in 1991 started an eco labeling scheme known as eco max those project those product which is eco friendly which do not harm nature they are marked as a eco mark they have the bis bureau of indian standard give a certification that this particular product is a is a eco eco friendly product so this eco mark is a certification that this is a eco friendly product this following product is a eco friendly product so its symbol is earthen pot particular thing has particular particular mark has particular type of symbol so the symbol of eco pot is earthen pot why because earthen pot earthen pot is a uh, uses as a biodegradable and renewable sources like earth and also its production does not produce any hard Real hazardous waste, and also it consumes very little energy for the production. So, in this case, remember one thing: all the certification, all the certification, or uh, uh, yeah, uh, all the product is certified by Bureau Bureau of Indian Standard (BIS) Bureau of Indian Standard. They Give certification to each and every eco-friendly products, and remember, notification regarding to eco product, eco mark, any notification, any changes is issued by your Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Mostly students confuse at this stage, but remember, certification is provided by your BIS. bureau of indian standard and notification of eco marks uh, related to eco marks is given by of m o e f c c please remember it's asked in paper so don't confuse between these two bis provide certification and your moif m o f c c provide your notification according to eco mark another important act is public liability insurance act which was also adopted in 1991 this act is important regarding to the welfare of the people who transfer hazardous material who uh, transfer hazard for their care so that the owner Who own the company of hazardous materials should provide compensate to the people who get to the victim who get affected from the hazardous material while transporting or any kind of accident taking place. So this act is related to this. The owner of the hazardous waste material generating has. to take a public liability insurance in order to provide compensation or in order for the protection of the victim who carry the hazardous waste from one place to another this act was enacted to make owner of the hazardous material generating who generate the hazardous material who handle it and transporting facility provide the transporting facility they are responsible for the payment for immediate relief to the victim of chemical accident if any chemical accident take place in their company or while transporting or while handling whatever this so they have to compensate they have to provide immediate relief to the victim every company uh, a big industry have to take some uh, public liability insurance is taken by these but there is another term is environmental relief fund because it is uh, these are the fund which uh, the owner of the industry has to compensate if they cause and if their activity cause any destruction to the environment any harm to the environment they have to provide uh, 
compensation to restore so that they uh, so that the environment get restored for this so it was adopted in 1991 the occupier or the owner of such facilities has to take a insurance policy of an amount remember the amount mostly they ask about the amount to pay the capital but not more than 50 crore they have to take the policy but not more than 50 crore to meet the expenses of the relief operation if a person get died in an accident while transporting or while some any kind of accident so they have to give uh, immediate relief to their family members like this or if uh, a victim got some injury so they have to provide immediate relief this, this is for that for the uh, for providing the immediate relief for the victim especially that's why every owner of the hazardous waste has to take public liability insurance act paid up capital what is paid up capital the market value of asset and stock of the undertaking on the date of insurance relief shall be payable to victim in the case of death or injury what i already mentioned the relief uh, uh, shall be given to the victim in the case of death or an injury without the requirement of establishment of the fact such in such injury by claiming it okay, how this injury is take place in and who is responsible for it who decided to give compensation who decided to such award should be given this was decided by the district collector he has to verify he or she has to verify and award such claim within the 3 month of receiving application from the date of accident once the uh, number one the owner has to take the policy regarding to their what if they have paid up capital not more than 50 crore then if the accident occurred has occurred here yeah uh, had occurred they owner of the company has to file has to fill the application and submit it to the district collection then it's a duty of district collector to verify and check and claim within the and provide the decision there within the 3 month such application can be entertained by up to 5 years from the date of accident okay under this act the owner is bound to give any information as required by central or state government for proper compliance so please remember this ki they have to provide all the information regarding the accident regarding the product regarding the component for regarding the storage material can everything whatever the central government and the state government asked to them to provide so public liability insurance act was also adopted in 1991 and in this year eco mask was also adopted adopted another important act is Hazardous Management and Handling Group. It was came in 1989. Its major amendment was in 2000, 2003, 2002, and 2016 also. These rules were made under the EPA 1986. So this act was included under the EPA Act. When it was found that Water Act night. Uh, 1974 and air act were not sufficient to deal with the hazardous waste that's why the government of india made this act these rules were also formed to fill the country's compliance with basel convention in 1989 that deal with the transboundary movement of the hazardous waste so this is a important please remember all the dates of the these acts it is important they ask in the exam 